Transformers of Eternia. You are watching Transformers of Eternia. And today I want to talk about the recent releases of these new pictures of Masters of the Universe Origins Snake Mountain. They're kind of cool looking pictures. And I mean I like this little background. This diorama that they put these things in. It's kind of cool. But uh, I really. I've talked about this thing before. I've kind of given my thoughts on this thing. I think a couple times actually. But it looks like we have like final shots. So it's like the final um, images before it comes out. Yeah and this thing looks kind of cool. To me it looks kind of small to be a snake mountain. But I understand that they can't give you like a classics version. Or something huge like you know humongous. But yeah this thing looks great. I mean for what you're I think it's I think it costs about the same as Castle Grayskull. Now keep in mind that this thing does not come with an action like a figure. So that's kind of one thing that they didn't have to include in there because what are action figures going for these days? Like uh, anywhere from, I don't know, like $20, <laughs> 17 I guess. But if you get it online, you're paying like 26 after everything's shipped and all done with, I think. So yeah, you're just, you're basically taking $20 off the price for this thing right off the bat. It's got that little trap thing. It seems like the snake, it, it, I feel like that snake just doesn't have anywhere to go. That snake that just kind of just, it, it feels like it just kind of flips back and forth like a hinge and just kind of just floats and kind of does whatever. Uh, I just, that's the part that always drives me nuts about Snake Mountain is it, is the snake sheet, the snake feels like it should be able to wrap around the peak of the mountain and yet it doesn't. At least in none of these pictures it doesn't anyway. So that's something that kind of irritates me about this thing. And it's got like a little hole in the... That little hole with the roots or whatever. looks like looks like rubber roots or something. So you can kind of get a figure like stuck in there. Or like somebody trying to sneak in or something. But yeah, this thing... It looks like Snake Mountain. It has a couple extra things that it never than the original Snake Mountain didn't have, but also it doesn't have the voice modulator or whatever. So that's taken out. So it is kind of cheaper in that regard. If I ended up getting this, I'd do a whole new paint job on this thing like I did on my Castle Grayskull because I just hate that kind of cheap, like quick painted type of look. But yeah, it for a uh, Master Universe Origins fan, I guess this would be great because you want to have both Snake Mountain and Castle Grayskull. So this thing is 26.92 inches. I'm not even going to get into the centimeters because I'm in America, so we don't even use that stuff. But anyway, 26.92 centimeters is like just about 5 inches taller than Castle Grayskull. So I guess I was wrong because this thing is actually taller, at its peak anyway, than Castle Grayskull by like almost 5 inches. So here it is with all the stuff that you just get out of the box I imagine. Uh, after everything is all just kind of picked out and like piece by piece or whatever. I don't know if you have to put a lot of stickers on this thing because I don't know exactly where all the stickers would go on the inside. This is not like Castle Grayskull. I don't know how many like little computer modules or whatever that they have inside there so that's something to think about I'm I don't know I don't know what the information is about that but you get you get that little bridge thing and you get those like little monster creatures that are like coming up out of the pit type of thing I think uh, a weapon set with like a weapons ho holder and stuff like a spider a ladder and of course Skeletor's throne or chair which is something I really wish I could get just all by itself why can't they just sell Skeletor with his throne in like a pack together that would be awesome well anyway this is him this is like a guy holding it to show you kind of the comparison on a, the size of a person I, I don't know if this is a teenager I don't know if this is an actual guy so it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of deceiving because you don't really know how big this person is so you can't really tell even then really how big this whole set is. But yeah, that's kind of the comparison with somebody holding it, I guess. So this is just kind of a picture of a comparison that I think like size comparison on how the Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain sizes should be. 
And of course, these are, I don't know if these are customs. I don't know what these are, but I just seen them online. It's just some picture. So if, if this is like a custom somebody made and this is yours, well, you are a genius because this looks awesome. But um, <laughs> so yeah, this is how big I think that the figure or the toy should be for the Castle Grayskull and the um, Snake Mountain. And this is the type of Snake Mountain I would want. I would not, I don't want the actual one that for Origins, honestly. Because this is the type of Snake Mountain I think of whenever I think of Snake Mountain. Is an actual mountain with a snake wrapped around it all the way up to the top. And not having that stupid little gate where the snake's head is basically at the top. I don't really care for that. I would rather have it look like this. With like the lava flowing down in the background and the bridge and all that stuff. And the faces and all that. I think that that is freaking awesome looking. So that's that's the type of uh, Snake Mountain I would want to get. Unfortunately, the Snake Mountain I would want would probably cost like $900 <laughs> just because it's so much stuff and it's so huge. And by the way, I would not have room in my house for the size of this thing. I mean, setting it next to my Castle Grace call. So it's like, it's like a bad, you know, decision to get something so big, but it's what you really actually want. Because I think this is about an accurate size for like a a play set that you want for your figures you want it to be bigger because it's a mountain you know and i would love to see what they would do with something like that origins is not going to do that obviously because they already got their their snake mountain made and everything but it's just something i thought of you know to show you what what would what could be really cool if they really did it Okay, so now I just want to show off. This is this is the eBay uh, Skeletor's chair. It's like a 3D printed e eBay thing that somebody made. And this is like a third party type of thing that I think that there should be more of this. There needs to be a lot more third party weapons, um, armor, uh, capes, uh, heads, everything for Masters Universe Origins. Like a, you could actually mix and match like arms, legs, and all this stuff for this line. And it almost, it's almost like a shame that more people are not creating uh, little pieces to add on and to do whatever. Weapons, uh, chairs, thrones, all this stuff for these figures. So I figured I'd show this off because this is something that I thought about getting. And I just wanted to show off. I mean, look at that. A Skeletor head for like the filmation version down there. There's like a throne for King Randor. There's like a bunch of stuff. I mean, there's another type of throne i mean it's just it's endless what you could do but for some reason there's just not a lot of people making third party stuff for master universe origins and for transformers this is it's almost unheard of to see anything that doesn't have a third party thing now but for master's universe it's just not even really a big deal a lot of people are just not making third party stuff for these so i mean look at that chair that's awesome I just wish that they would have a Skeletor with his throne in the store in like a set. That would be awesome. Because I mean recently or not too long ago they came out with Starscream and he has a throne. And I'm sure that throne could work for Megatron. And that's in Transformers. But in Masters of the Universe they don't do that for some reason. So it's just something I'm throwing out there because I imagine somebody somewhere would buy these things. And like I said the eBay one is freaking awesome. So... Just something I pointed out. Um, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about about uh, Snake Mountain. Comment in the comment section below if you have any thoughts about this or about the third party stuff. Or if you know of any third party companies that are making weapons and armor and all that stuff for Masters of the Universe. Because I'd like to see that stuff. So anyway, that's pretty much it. So like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.